So I'm gonna have to start this over again just to, just for the sake of the video. So I got a board. I got a board, two boards. I'm gonna put this board on this table. I'm gonna hold it down using the funnies from the newspaper. All that's really holding this board down is the weight of this newspaper ish. So, if I hit this board right here, two things are going to happen. One of two things it's either going to break or that board's going to come up and hit me in the head. <laughs> Just in case, let's see what happens. Here we go. Now I do this once a year. And this is my once a year. Oh. Yeah, so it's a little damp. Let me do that again. I like doing this. <laughs> this uh, this table's got it's got a chamfer here. It's, it's rounded rather than a complete straight edge. As a result, it sort of bends over. But let's see if I can have this newspaper hold down this chunk of stick. I just have to hit it harder, I guess. Now, why didn't the newspaper go up, smack me in the head? Anybody? Atmospheric pressure. If you calculate the force of all of the weight of all of the air from here to this rectangular piece, from here all the way in the space, not, not to the ceiling, ceiling doesn't count because there's air coming in from the doors, past the ceiling, all the way in the space, all of the weight of all of the air from here all the way to space is, is creating a column, and all that weight is pushing down on that paper. And when I, when I do that, all that weight is holding it down. If I lift the paper on the side, the air goes underneath. As a result, all I have here is atmospheric pressure on that side, atmospheric pressure on this side. All I have here is just the weight of the newspaper alone. <laughs> 